Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental L Tutoring. Now, I might say sometimes Andrea Tarowski because Tarowski was my maiden name and I just got married a month ago. So I find myself sometimes saying Andrea Tarowski, sometimes saying Andrea Majewski, and sometimes I'm even spelling my name Andrea Tarowski or Andrea Majewski when I'm working. So please forgive me. Do not get, do not get confused. I'm the same person. But what I would like to talk to you guys about is um, a lot of you have been asking if you're taking the board exam soon. So either in a month or two, maybe even three, or a, um, a couple weeks for some people. So you might be asking, what should I focus on? You know, because if you look inside um, the Dental L membership login area, you have modules, you have mock exams, you have case studies, um, lectures, there's all kinds of things. So I know that it can get overwhelming and you might not know where to start or where to end. So what I think is the best thing to do is to go through the um, lecture um, teaching videos first because every single lecture is about an hour long and I go through mock exam type questions with you plus I do explain the questions and the answers. So that's the best type of practice that you can have. Now, let's say you are going through a video. Um, our recent one was on TMJ, I believe. Um, so let's say you are going through that one and you aren't doing well with the questions. So you might be getting a lot of them wrong. Then that tells you that you should be going back to the modules and then reading through on the assessment phase on um, TMJ. So all of those things that we do have inside of, of um, the lecture um, video. Because if you're not doing well with the case studies questions, then Try not to get too discouraged, but all that means is that you have to study more on that, that um, topic. But on the opposite end of things, if you're doing excellent with the lectures and you're doing um, very, very well with the questions and the answers, then that's telling you that you don't have to study that anymore and that you can move on to another topic. So I'm just gonna quickly log in here. Um, to show you guys the 2018 session recordings so that you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So here it is here. So you will see new ones at the top every single week, okay? So um, I'm sorry. So I did say that the last one was TMJ, but it was actually um, Endo. So, um, but every time I upload a new one, it will be at the top. Now, as you can see, I do have a PowerPoint only under ortho and occlusion because I thought that I would be having a session this Sunday, but it is a holiday here in Canada. So we do not have sessions on the holidays because I realize that students probably have other things to do, right? So we do have a session every single Sunday except for holidays. So just, just an example here. So let's say you have the mock, um, the board exam in a month or two or a couple weeks, you know. So what I want you to do is to log into the 2018 um, Dental L lectures and just look through the topics that I do have here. So let's say you want to do um, pharmacology because everybody always wants to know about pharmacology, right? So just click here and then you will hear me talk about pharmacology. Um, this one happens to be an hour and 14 minutes and I go through case studies. So that's the best practice that you can possibly have. But then let's say you are looking through the case studies and then you say, okay, I'm getting a lot of these questions wrong. Then that's telling you to go back to the modules, which I can show you guys that if you like. Um, let me just stop sharing my screen for a moment and let me kind of pull up the modules here. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing my screen again. So what I did is I went back. Now this is for dental hygiene students. There's a separate one for dental um, assisting students as well. But let's say, um, so here's the main membership login area here. So where we were before was under the 2018 and 2017 um, session recordings, um, but the 2017 ones weren't there. So I do actually have that in a different area. But anyways, so let's say that you were doing the pharmacology case studies and then you said, you know what, I'm not getting a lot of these answers right. Then look through your modules. Um, these are what I guess it's for. 
So it can be overwhelming to study them first because, um, well, I will show you. Let's click on pharmacology because that's a lot of information for you here. Okay. Um, now I try to put them all into a main PowerPoint. So then that way you don't um, have to look at 10, 20 different PowerPoints. So as an example, let's click on review and you will see your main pharmacology PowerPoint here, okay? Now I do ask you some short answer type of questions also so that I know that you know what we're talking about, okay? So lots of different topics as you can see. Um, let's go back, pick up another PowerPoint here, uh, full document. I can't remember where the full PowerPoint was. Now I do, I do update these every four months or so, so I tend to forget where I put things, I apologize. But here's most of your pharmacology, okay? So you could read the textbook if you want to, but this is so much easier, plus the pretty colors might make it a little bit easier for you to study. I know it sounds silly, but studies have shown that if it's nicer to look at, you tend to retain more of the information, right? So this is a much longer PowerPoint for sure. Um, I try to color code it into different topics as well. So as you guys can see, there's tons here, but this is what the modules are for. So if you're not able to go through the case studies and get all of the answers right, then that's telling you that you perhaps or you should study more on pharmacology. So then you have to go back to the modules and study more on pharmacology. And then once you have a pretty good idea, or you think you know the answers or the topic, then go back to, I can show you guys that again, the 2017, um, 2018, even 2016 session recordings, and then you will have all of them. In fact, I did click on actually, um, I did click on the one here, I'll show you guys. I did click on the 2017, 2018 session recordings and it did take me to all of them. So here's your um, membership login area again, and this is for dental hygiene students. So if you're a dental assisting student, then it will look slightly different. Click on um, recorded sessions for 2018, 2017 right here, and then you will see them all for 2017 because I did, I did actually separate them um, in 2018. So as you guys can see here, tons of different topics to go through and they're all case studies. They are all case studies types of questions. And then the more recent ones, 2018, click here and you will see the more recent ones. So if you were reading the pharmacology module and said, okay, now I do understand things, then move back here to your pharmacology's case studies session. And then also remember in our private um, Facebook group, do a search for mock exams and you will see all the mock exams there on every single topic. So you have case studies and you have mock exams. So there's tons there for you. There is never a shortage of things to study. Um, but on another note quickly, in the modules, please, please, please keep in mind that those PowerPoints are long. Some of them are 200 slides or more. Some of them are 10 slides. But for the longer ones, do not plan to study the whole thing in one day. It's impossible. These PowerPoints are made, um, depending on how long the PowerPoints are, to study over even a week's time. For a 200 slide um, PowerPoint, it will likely take you, I'm thinking at least a week. For a 30 slide PowerPoint, it, it might take you two hours. So for a larger PowerPoint, there's no shame in taking your time and then studying the whole thing over that week. So don't think if you see a large PowerPoint, oh, well, I have to study this in three, three hours. How is this possible? No, some of them take a lot longer. Okay, so I do hope that helps. So to do a quick recap, um, if you're studying for the board exam soon, like within the next couple months, look at the lecture um, videos first and make sure to attend them live as well so that if you guys have questions, that's the time to ask me live because other students probably have the same questions. So do not hesitate to ask me questions. So 
The tutoring sessions are every single Sunday, unless there's a holiday, at um, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and I do record all of them. So even if you can't attend live every single time, I usually have the recording up that night or the next morning, depending on how long it takes to process. But if you can come to the sessions live, because those who come to the sessions live, they are the ones that pass because they're the most, I guess, motivated. They're the most serious, if that makes sense, to pass. So do whatever you can to attend the sessions live because there's always something different if you read them afterwards, if you listen to the video afterwards, then if you make the time to attend them live, because then you can ask me any questions you want anytime. And that can make the difference between a pass and a fail. So I hope that this helps you explain things a little bit easier. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know anytime because we all have the same end game in mind to pass the board exam and I want my students to pass. I still have a 99.4% success rate helping students pass. So I would like to keep that up and even make it higher. It is possible, right? So if you guys need my help, please let me know and good luck and happy studying.